Sometimes incredible events happen in the natural world, and we can only watch in amazement, whether it's the synchronized movements of a murmuration of starlings, the breathtaking migration of monarch butterflies spanning thousands of miles, or the intricate dance of a peacock's feathers during courtship. These phenomena captivate our imaginations and deepen our appreciation for the beauty and complexity of life on Earth. Animals, from the smallest insects to the largest mammals, exhibit behaviors and abilities that often defy our understanding. Consider the octopus, with its remarkable intelligence and ability to camouflage, or the extraordinary memory and social structures of elephants. Even the common honeybee demonstrates complex communication and organization within its hive. The natural world is also a theater of survival, where animals exhibit astonishing adaptations to thrive in diverse environments. The Arctic fox, for instance, has developed a thick fur coat and a keen sense of hearing to locate prey beneath the snow. In the depths of the ocean, bioluminescent creatures create their own light, navigating and hunting in complete darkness. Moreover, the relationships between different species can be both fascinating and mysterious. Symbiotic partnerships, like that of the clownfish and sea anemone, show how cooperation can be vital for survival. Predatory encounters such as the stealthy ambush of a lion on the savanna reveal the raw power and strategy involved in the hunt. In every corner of the globe, from the highest mountains to the deepest seas, animals display resilience, ingenuity, and a will to survive that inspires and humbles us. As we continue to explore and learn about the natural world, we gain not only scientific knowledge, but also a profound respect for the incredible diversity of life that shares our planet. In this video, this cat raised and nurtured two little orphan tiger cubs. However, years later, something unthinkable happened. David has always enjoyed traveling alone in the wilderness. This allowed him to take a little break from hard work in the city, as well as gain energy and strength. That time, he decided to go alone deep into the forest, which always strongly attracted him. David traveled a long way on foot, and when evening came, he set up a tent and began to enjoy the coolness and silence around him. Suddenly, the man heard a strange noise that repeated over and over again. David went to the source of the sound, and soon he was surprised to see two very small, seemingly newborn tiger cubs on the grass. The man was astonished, and there was no sign of their mother tiger anywhere nearby. David waited for a while, but the striped predator never appeared. Perhaps it had become a victim of poachers or was killed by some kind of disease. The man realized that without his help, the two tiny defenseless tiger cubs would surely die, as they could hardly stand on their paws and squeaked pitifully from cold and hunger. David gently picked up the tiger cubs and brought them to his home. His family was surprised by the arrival of the two little predators, but David managed to convince them to keep them at home, at least for a while. Now the good man was faced with the most important question, how to feed two tiger cubs who had recently been born. The answer came by itself. David had a beautiful and graceful cat named Barney at home for several years, whom the whole family loved. Barney recently gave birth to kittens once again, and David took the risk of introducing his pet to the wild tiger cubs. At first, the curious cat sniffed the cubs, which were almost her size. However, Barney quickly realized that she was looking at inexperienced, defenseless cubs that needed love and care. Barney's maternal instincts kicked in, and she let the cubs drink warm, nourishing milk from her breasts. In just a few days, thanks to the kind cat's efforts, the tiger cubs grew stronger, put on weight, and looked much healthier. Barney took care of the tiger cubs as if they were her own kittens, and they followed her everywhere, recognizing her as their only mother. When the cubs began to fight among themselves, Barney always stopped their scuffles, even though she was already smaller in size than her adoptive children. As days passed, the cubs grew bigger and began to turn into real wild predators. David began to realize that he could no longer keep the cubs at home, as it was becoming increasingly dangerous every day. The growing predators constantly damaged furniture and belongings with their sharp claws and teeth. Meanwhile, Barney was not at all afraid of the striped predators, still seeing them as her beloved babies. 
After some discussion, the family decided to take the young tigers to the local zoo. All family members were deeply saddened on the day of parting, especially Barney, who looked incredibly sad and depressed and even refused to eat for some time. David handed both tigers over to the zoo, understanding well that releasing them into the wild was not an option as they had grown up in domestic conditions. Despite all their strength and might, they simply could not survive in the wild. David, with a heavy heart, handed the tigers over to the experienced hands of the zoo staff. After that day, he tried not to visit there anymore. As each meeting with the predators caused pain in his heart, years passed and the house cat Barney had aged significantly, so David decided to take her to the vet. After the examination, the vet advised the man to euthanize the unfortunate animal, which suffered from numerous diseases due to its age. David replied that he would think about it and rushed home, as he wanted to do one important thing. The man decided to give Barney a real farewell gift and take her to the zoo, where she could once again see the grown-up tigers who were still her adoptive children. Of course, David wasn't sure if the huge predators would recognize the much-aged cat, but he felt he just had to do it. Arriving at the zoo, David quickly found a spacious enclosure with two tigers who were now fully grown and gracefully walking around their territory. The man approached them closer, but the predators just glanced at him indifferently and then turned away, walking deeper into the enclosure to David's great disappointment. Then David took Barney out of his bag and brought her to the glass of the enclosure. As soon as the tigers saw the house pet, their eyes lit up. They ran to the glass and stood on their hind legs, as if trying to hug their adoptive mother. There was no doubt both tigers recognized Barney, who had saved their lives and raised them many years ago. Barney also recognized her adopted children, despite the fact that they had grown several times over. Barney plaintively meowed and rubbed against the glass of the enclosure, ready to give the tigers all her tenderness and care again. Seeing this, David could not hold back his tears. He never expected that even in the animal world, the love between a mother and her children could be so strong. This love does not fade over time and remains incredibly strong despite the interspecies difference of the animals. David stood by the tiger enclosure for a long time, unable to separate Barney from her adoptive children. This amazing and touching day remained forever in the man's memory.